hey you guys welcome to video number two if you didn't watch video number one of cinema beginners tutorial you can check on the playlist because i'm going to put this in a playlist so that you can easily access it and watch all, all of the videos at once if you are watching this later like when i've made future tutorials so in this specific one i'm gonna be teaching you all about the tools you see up here these I'm gonna be explaining a bit about them. Mm, I don't think the time will be enough for me to explain all of them, but I'm going to explain as much as I can, and so that you get comfortable with the interface before we get into some real modeling. So first off, I'm gonna come here and to the where the the objects you have created go are listed. The hierarchy of the objects you've created or all the modifiers all the stuff you've got in your viewport here in your 3d world so i'm gonna create a sphere as you can see sphere showed up here so this is basically just shows what you have in here and you can use this to select stuff and hide them as well i can hide this sphere i'm not deleting it but i'm simply hiding it next is here and this one here is where the property of the object inside here is uh, as you can see the number of segments as you recall from the last video I use this to change the segments of the cube and I can turn on fillet to smoothen the edges so here are the properties of the object that you're working on and most importantly are the navigations how to navigate around your 3D object, how to zoom in, pan, and change views. So to zoom in, there is a some kind of rotation button here, up here in the corner, in the right corner of the port, the viewport. You click on that and just rotate, and your mouse rotates around, um, and your camera rotates around the 3D object that you've selected. And to zoom, you can use the scroll wheel if you have it on your mouse. Since I do, I can't use 3D without a mouse with a scroll wheel because it would be tedious for me. And to pan, to pan the view, click on this one that has four arrows on it and you can pan the view. You are not rotating, but you are just panning the view. And in a 3D environment, all of the 3D program have views. And to change views, you just click here. The views, there is the perspective view, the top. You can view, you can view object and modify it from the top, as you can see here. Or you can use the front, modify it from the front or the right. As you can see, I can simply modify and manipulate my object in this way. So these are very important things to use. And if you want to choose another. If you want to expand another view, you just come into that view and just simply click on it, double click on it, sorry, and middle mouse click on it. It will open that view right away. Or you can middle mouse click and go to another view and middle mouse click on it again. So that's one way to do it if you don't want to use this button right here. And here you can see these are used to move to move the 3d object so if i click this one I can use this one to move the 3d object in the axis i have here or i can use it to zoom to uh, i can use it a uh, stretch and change the size of manipulate the size of my 3d object and this one basically this one is the move tool as the same thing so this one is for scale if you want to scale your 3D object, this one is for rotation, to rotate your 3D object, and you can animate these rotations, but we'll come to that in the future. And this one here shows you the most recent tool that you've used. Since I've used the rotation, the rotation is right there. If I go to this, it will change to that. If I go to this, it will change to that. So that's just how it works. And here are some rendering settings. We shall go on that on those ones in some deeper tutorial.
tutorial when we start texturing our 3D objects and here are some modifiers here are some primitive objects like spears and you can modify these objects to make them some very cool 3D into you can turn them into some very cool 3D objects you can model a bottle from a, from a cylinder or something crazy anything you want and we shall get into these planes later and these later all of these we shall go in them later because right now uh, it will just basically confuse you if you won't understand it so what I'm going to explain next is this pattern right here mm, this pattern makes your 3d object editable as you can see here I can I can expand my 3d object but this is not editing you can't model with this kind of restriction so to make your object completely editable when you can edit mm, face by face you can edit face by face let me show you what I'm talking about let me make this object editable so after I turn on the after I make my 3d object editable now I can edit it face by face or point by point now this is where all these come in handy all these come in handy uh, you can edit your 3d object by points edges or faces so when I check faces I can edit my 3d object by moving my faces I'm in a zoom so as you can see I can move my faces and if I go into point mode I can move my points I can edit my 3d object by moving points around and you can model some complex models using this kind of method and there is the edge mode you can select some edges and move them some edges and move them as you saw right there so the next is the timeline right here and this is used for animation these play buttons are used for animation but since we don't have any animations here nothing is going to happen when you click play let me show you a simple animation i created here of a basic abstract so i'm gonna go to here and as you can see when i click play it's just some basic animation of an abstract bending so without any further ado i'm gonna keep <laughs> the rest of the stuff for the next video because this video is getting kind of long so thanks guys for watching and see you guys in the next video